Nice, so let's pull back and take a look at all of our splines now. Um, I'm going to untick the, let's untick the lock here and switch back to camera one. And then let's switch this back to camera one. I'm gonna turn off the renderer and jump up to the object level. And let's turn on our hair splines and remove the render region and click the render button. Cool. And you can see some of those splines that actually, um, some of those splines actually kind of um, arced around some of these other, um, these other vertexes of this um, icosahedron thingy. And um, I kind of liked them, so I left them. But uh, you can get in there and delete those if they bother you or anything like that. And here, let's just turn the um, beam uh, mesh and uh, lightning mesh lights back on. I had disabled the uh, expression that tied the flag to the on off switch. So I just got to select both lights and go to the light tab and turn them on by clicking that checkbox. If you want to learn about the expression that ties the display flag to the on off switch, um, you can check out that bonus lesson in the lighting chapter. Um, I just kind of like the way this beam kind of went through that thing and, uh, but yeah, whatever. It's cool. <laughs> this, the spiral is a shout out to the Houdini logo, by the way, if, if you, if that wasn't obvious, the Houdini logo being that little spiral thingy, I was, uh, feeling inspired. So I made sure those, um, those splines were, um, corkscrewing, uh, clockwise, just like the logo did. All right. And that is the basics of spline rendering in Houdini. So now let's look at, uh, volumes.